Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for April 5th, 2021. So I hope everyone had a wonderful three-day weekend. We had that nice little shutdown, got a little break in the market, but we had some good numbers come out on Friday, and the market is responding strongly to that this morning. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink, let's settle into our office chairs. Let's see if we can take a look at the price action in these charts, some technicals, and see if we can gain some information here on how we may approach the market for today. So get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. I hope you had a great weekend. Let's take a look at this market. We had a pretty good day on Friday. As a matter of fact, I, I have a rule. Um, it's just kind of a general rule. I don't do much buying. I'm more of a profit taker and that kind of thing on, a, on Fridays, particularly heading into a long weekend. That may bite me in the rear end um, today with the bullishness we see this morning. As you can see, we have, um, let's just go back here again and let's redraw this trend. If we take a look at our overall uh, trend in this chart. We have a very bullish trend going on here in the Dow and there's really nothing in here that even hints at bearishness in the chart. And then notice what that we had consolidated and rested here just a few days and we're continuing to push on higher. It is entirely possible that this is now our new trend. We may have steepened this trend to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. This morning we have a lot of bullishness coming in, uh, pushing up. We had a very good jobs number report on Friday that just smoked expectations. And we are pushing higher this morning as a result. As a matter of fact, as of right now, Dow futures are up 227 points. And that is this candle right here showing a big gap up this morning coming in the Dow. Now, our technicals on the chart, we are very, very bullish here overall in the Dow, and um, that looks to remain the same this morning. So, very strong. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, the SPY on Friday generated some pretty good energy, um, and it was largely due to big tech. And you can see on Friday, we stretched up here a little bit. We've been worried a little bit about these um, resistance levels in the chart, but we popped right through there on Friday and held that all day on Friday into the close. As a matter of fact, right at the end of the day, let's take a look. This is a 15 minute chart. We gapped up in the morning. We largely went nowhere throughout the day. And there's that dark pool activity coming in right at the end of the day being consolidated to the market, surging us up to um, lock in that new record. As you can see, our trends are um, in our moving averages are very, very strong and we're looking really good. So the good news here is that we have the diamonds or the Dow and the S&P 500 back on the same page working together. And we've broken through this resistance level in the chart. So any rest or pullback in here really wouldn't hurt us at all as long as we hold into that trend. Now it is entirely possible, as I mentioned there in the Dow, that we have steepened this little trend here in the chart. So let's keep a close eye on that. We, we are kind of stretched out in the short term here on um, the SPY. Notice how many days in a row we're up here um, in that move. So you want to be a little bit careful chasing this morning open. We could pop up in there, see some profit takers and a little bit of resting pullback could occur. But the SPY back in the saddle here on that bullish side. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now NASDAQ also had a good day on Friday gapping up. There was a resurgence back into that and we crossed above and held above our 50 day moving average. As you guys know, I've been mentioning that we had some resistance in this chart that we had to remain a little bit concerned with, but we breached that through that on Friday, holding, holding that, and then we're trying to follow through with that this morning with this bullishness. Now, that being said, we still have a lot of work here to do before we clear uh, everything up in the NASDAQ, but 
Technically, we've made that higher low and we broke through resistance. So I think we're in pretty good shape here. Even if we have to rest a little bit or pull back a little bit, well, I think we're okay. Just keep in mind, we have some significant price resistance levels above here in the NASDAQ that we still need to get through. But it's nice to see that we are recovering and at least we have the NASDAQ moving with the rest of the market. So that's nice to see instead of kind of uh, be in the boat anchor um, to the market. So let's watch that close. And then let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM didn't do quite as well, didn't do quite as well on Friday as everything else did. Notice that we rallied up in here. We were trying to break through some of these resistance levels. And this morning we're gapping up this morning and we're trying to break through this level right in here in the chart. But let's do notice the fact that we are four days pretty extended up with gaps every day. That chance that we could run into a little bit of price resistance at any time and get a little bit of a resting pullback is possible. So be careful with the chase this morning. Um, it's really easy when we get all this hype and energy in the morning to just feel like, oh my gosh, I'm miss missing out. I'm going to have to hurry up and race into the market. I would guard against that and be just a little bit careful and be choosy about those stocks that you um, look, uh, look to buy. Look for those stocks that are holding at or near price support levels um, rather than chasing those that are already fully extended or pushing into resistance levels of the chart. Let's take a look at um, our VIX here. Now, the really good thing that's finally starting to make a little bit of market sense is that our VIX broke down here. Now, our VIX is declining, and I'm guessing it is going to decline further this morning. But here is one issue that we have to consider. When we decline, and we probably will decline pretty sharply this morning, we're going to be pushing down here where that point is we may have overextended our move here to the upside. That means we can get a little bit of profit selling in here. So don't be too surprised if we see the VIX bounce back up. But if the VIX bounces back up and we fail to break back through these resistance levels or right in here, if we fail to break back through there and start pushing back, that's going to be a really good sign for the market and could hold quite a little bit of bullishness at least maybe through um, this next quarter's earnings. So keep a close eye on that. I think maybe um, April, May, we have a pretty clear, clear field. But remember, once we get into that May time period, we also have that worry, you know, the old saying, sell in May and stay away. We run into the summer doldrums. And um, so we'll want to watch that as we continue to extend this market. It, we could have a, enjoy a really nice little bullish run, but just be a little bit careful. Um, don't become complacent um, in the market. It's nice to see that fear dropping out that's going to help us option traders quite a little bit in those option prices. Let's take a look at our uh, T2122. Now this one gives us just a little bit of concern this morning on this big gap up because on Friday we surged all the way back up here in T2122 into this bearish reversal zone and this morning we're gapping higher. So I'm guessing we're going to reach kind of an extreme condition here in T2122. It's going to be suggesting that we've um, overplayed our bullish hand here temporarily. Now, that doesn't mean that we can't continue to extend. Remember, T2122 does not tell us when we are um, going to pull, pat, pull back. It just warns us that we may have reached a condition that we want to start watching for it. So keep a close eye on that. You might want to be careful rushing in or chasing this morning open just in case there's a little bit of profit taking that comes in this morning. Let's take a look at our T2101. Once again, there is still some concern here with that T2101. Notice that we still haven't been able to break that downtrend. So we still have a significant number of companies going sideways or down while we're setting these new record highs. And that is still a little bit of a concern and maybe something that can also give you just a little bit of pause on this big gap up this morning. So just watch that closely. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. 
Now, our economic calendar is rather light. We do have a couple things we want to pay attention to. It's rather light, probably not major market moving reports, but kind of keep an eye on this. We have factory orders this morning in the ISM services index. Certainly, if they are, um, they just blow out um, expectations or miss badly on expectations, we could um, see some choppiness in there, but um, probably not a really big deal. I think probably we're going to be all the way over here into Wednesday before we start having um, some volatility show up in the market, some concerns, those FOMC minutes coming out. Remember, it's not unusual to see the market get a little bit light and choppy as we head into that report. Keep that in mind. And then we've got our normal jobless claims and, and the PPI here on Friday. So a rather light economic calendar week. And we're going to have a rather light earnings calendar week as well as we're kind of um, just building up toward um, earnings, the, the second quarter earnings season that will begin in a week or so. But um, kind of a light, a light um, economic calendar. Now, having said that, we've got about 23 companies um, on the earnings calendar today, but we only have three companies that have verified their reports. And so let's take a look at those here really quickly. Um, the three companies that have verified that are somewhat notable, let's take a look at LNN. LNN will be reporting today, watch that. Um, been moving in this uptrend, but notice we're kind of faltering here just a little bit, maybe flattening out our trend, a little bit of a wedging pattern. Just watch that closely as it reports today. Certainly very bullish, and we know all of those things in, in um, uh, farm and uh, food production have been pretty popular here just recently, so keep an eye on that. Um, MAXN, we got to type it right. MAXN will be reporting today. And as you can see, this is kind of faltering a little bit um, in this downtrend. We're struggling along a little price support. It may be kind of an interesting one to watch. If it can break through that downtrend and hold, we may have some upside opportunity coming in that chart if it can do that. So keep an eye on that one. And then probably the biggest one of the day, PAYX um, will be reporting. Um, nice bullish chart as you can see pushing up um, pushing up nice and strong breaking through some price resistance levels respecting its trend very very well here keep a close eye on this PYX could be a bullish opportunity uh, coming up on the day so watch that close let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could quickly do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos and I just want to say thank you to everyone who um, has subscribed and um, takes the time to leave a brief comment clicking those thumbs up buttons it helps the channel continue to grow and I just have to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that it means the world to me and I will be back our open house is over I'll be back to answering comments and things on the YouTube videos so um, thank you so much I also want to do a shout out to those folks that are taking advantage and, and supporting the channel through the buy me a coffee link it's right below the title of the video if if you feel the videos are worth worthy and um, helping you out if you want to help support the channel you can click that you can buy me a coffee and that money goes toward improving um, the content of the channel i just want to say thank you so much to those of you uh, who are taking advantage of that. Um, I truly, truly appreciate it. I mean, it humbles me every day. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, every time I bring up a stock um, as a potential trade, um, um, as a potential chart to look at, they're more of a watch list. Um, I, I, I don't want anyone to think these are recommendations to buy or sell any security. And please, please, please remember, guys, it is never, ever a good idea to blindly follow someone else's trade thoughts or trade ideas. Make sure you do your own evaluation, your own due diligence, and, very, and, and make sure that 
um, anything that you do trade fits your tolerance to risk. Let's take a look at a couple sectors that I think are looking really, really good right now. Let's take a look at XLF. Now the financial sector, um, we, we suffered a little bit of weakness there. And we could still suffer a bit of weakness if we see those bonds continuing to creep up. But let's watch this closely. We have a beautiful little pattern setting up here in those financials and had a good push on Friday and a pop through. Now, or popping through this morning. Now, I would not rule out the possibility that we're going to pop into this resistance right in there, that little price resistance, get a little bit more rest back over here toward the trend. But keep a close eye on that. And by the way, I need to redraw that trend. There we go. And just a little bit of rest, a couple of days in here might be due. I That wouldn't surprise me at all, but keep an eye on that. The financial sector looking pretty good. And you can see um, really good uh, pattern setups in like BAC and Citibank and Wells Fargo and a lot of companies out there looking good. And remember, we have that anticipation of the earnings reports coming up. Um, big banks will start that. And so there may be some nice moves um, in these stocks just in anticipation of those earnings reports. Also, let's take a look at energy sector. Energy has been coming back. We had suffered a little bit of weakness. Now let's take a look at this trend line. We've been beautifully respecting this trend line here in the chart. And I also want you to note that if we pull this back on energy, we have finally broken this long-term downtrend in that energy sector. And we're holding right here at price support. We had a little bit of bullishness that come in here on Friday. Um, actually, I shouldn't just say a little bit of bullishness. That is a buy signal, in my opinion, um, on that chart. And um, popping through now, we're getting just a little tiny bit of rest today. I'm gonna to be watching that energy sector closely and maybe picking up some positions in there here relatively soon. So keep a close eye on that, energy looking good. You might wanna take a look at General Motors. General Motors had a good day on Friday popping up. Here's that um, overall trend that we had, that we kind of lost just temporarily in that market volatility. Notice we've regained that support in the chart. So regaining that support is one of the key elements for me to reconsider the trade. Um, once a stock has lost support, it has to recover, regain, and then prove that it can hold. And I think Friday was the proof um, that we could hold in here and we're trying to push um, today. So watch this carefully. GM could be setting up, might be worth keeping an eye on. Um, nice looking chart. I also like Cisco here. Now, Cisco has been one of the underloved um, companies in the tech sector, as you can see, breaking that downtrend and pushing up here recently. This is a strong Divi payer, and Divi payers have been doing very, very well here recently in the market. So keep an eye on this pattern. We have a nice little push up, really nice little tight consolidation starting to form here. Now, if this is our current trend, how I've got this drawn, and I can't say that it is for sure, but if that is our trend, I would be watching this for that possibility of that popping through at any point in time. So keep a close eye on that good looking chart. Now, I'm also watching Microsoft, and you, looking on this chart, you gotta say watching it. What are you watching it for? It's already taken off. On the, and on the daily chart, that is true. It has taken off. But I'm watching this for a longer term trade. And as I told you guys, I'm gonna start um, bringing up some of these longer term trades because, um, well, it's been a request from the folks of Rightway Options, members of Rightway Options, that I bring up some more longer term trades. I do hold longer term positions, and I gotta tell you, they can change your trading life. They can change your account, big time. And um, I'm watching this pattern in here, and I think Microsoft is looking really good. Now, what I'd like to see is just a little bit more rest out here toward this trend. Um, if I could get a little bit more rest in here, I'll be looking for a longer term position in Microsoft. So keep an eye on that. And just to kind of support that idea, guys, let me show you what we've done here just recently in 3M. In 3M, there's that long term pattern. There's that break of that big downtrend, that hold of support. And notice we're now almost 
six weeks to the upside in this trade. That's what you can do with a longer term position and really make some serious money on these charts. We did the same thing with Altria on uh, um, MO. Our entry into that trade was right here and you can see what that's done since that period of time. So keep a close eye on some of these longer terms and Microsoft could really fit the bill if it can give us a, maybe just a little bit more rest. I don't want to chase this, but just a little bit more rest and I'll be looking for an entry into that trade. Another stock that you might want to be keeping an eye on, and I've brought this up um, several times, and that is um, DD. DD continuing to look pretty good here. Notice this nice little consolidation and we've slid, slid over here to this trend. Watch for that pop of volatility in here. If we can get this moving and break through that um, alert that I have here in the chart, could be some nice opportunities in DD. W would be worth putting it on a list, keeping an eye on it. Pretty good looking chart. Um, Intel is another one of those that I'm watching. Notice how we went through just a period of really wild price volatility in here. And all of a sudden, look what's happened. We've cleaned up our act. Very tight, concise price action in here. Now, we're trying to build some energy to break through this resistance high. So keep an eye on it. There's no rush to this trade. But as this continues to rest in here, slide over toward that trend, you may find an opportunity to maybe uh, pick something up here in Intel. It's looking good overall. Um, there's more stocks right now than I can truly cover. I'm as you guys know, I've kind of talked about Bloomin' Brands here for a few, a few days. And Bloomin', just this nice little resting pullback. And we held our price support in here. Notice we're getting a little bit of bullishness here this morning, trying to push this up. Now, what I'd want in this chart is I just, I, I'm not expecting this to just take off. What I'd like to see is this actually fill out two or three, four days um, underneath this little pattern here and then give me a pop out. That gives me a lower risk entry into the trade. So I'm keeping an eye on Bloomin' coming around looking pretty good. I also like this chart in Foot Locker. Foot Locker, nice little upside trend. Notice we went through that period of volatility with the market and now we're shaping up here. Our price action is getting much more concise. Might be looking for an opportunity here in Facebook if that can push, or not Facebook, Foot Locker, if that can push on through to the upside. So there's a few charts for you to consider. I'm running out of time this morning. I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. And once again, thank you to everyone who does take the time to click those thumbs up buttons and, and, and leave the comments. You guys are awesome. I truly appreciate it. I wanna wish you all a fantastic day, great profits in your trading, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.